So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today we're over in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies with an update on the Shadow Man mask. A guy named Hayashi over on Reddit about a year ago posted this and I decided to test if it was true because these are not the steps that I remember. So drop a like on this video if you go on to learn something and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. I've covered all the Revelations Easter eggs so you'll have a playlist for that in the description box below. Follow me over on Twitter, at Violent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies after the video. You'll notice the two purple perks that I have, and that's because this actually increases how much resistance you have towards all zombie types. You have extra hit damage. This is a total of 10 hits with Juggernog that you could take from a normal zombie, but it's 33% damage reduction from all enemies, and that includes even Panzers that can get you caught up. Now, if you do have a shield, it will take up to 13 hits to take you down from the back. So this, for high round players, is very beneficial. Now this is going to be your new home, alright? Inside of the Pack-a-Punch area, inside this Apothecan stomach, this is your new home, okay? So when the fog rolls in, there is a green fog that rolls in, you will need to do a series of sequences, and we're going to start with killing 50 zombies. I want to note that there are seven different sequences that we're about to do, and all of them can be done out of order. It just depends how things spawn in. But this one should be easy enough getting 50 zombie kills, and you can do this with an unpack a punched weapon or a pack a punched weapon. It doesn't matter. As long as the fog's in the actual stomach and you kill them inside of here, I recommend the pool. That's primarily where I've gotten all my kills inside this middle pool area and that's what's done it. Now spiders will spawn in more frequently than any other type that you're gonna need in order to complete this so spiders should be easy enough. The third sequence is parasites and this is another very common zombie type that you'll find inside the stomach here. So the zombie kills, the zombie spiders, and the zombie parasites those three should be easy enough for you to get right out of the way and you can get those done on really early rounds. The weapons I'm going to recommend for all of this is two different types of shotguns. You got the Brecky and then you have the Haymaker. Either one of those work perfectly fine and the Thunder Gun absolutely we're going to need. Killing 10 Furies is the fourth sequence and this can be difficult but on round 15 you will have a heyday of them coming in but make sure the fog is there, the green fog, it's very important. If you miss that really good opportunity on wave 15, don't worry, on round 25 it'll come back and this is another chance for you to also complete the five keepers that you have to kill. At another point we thought we had to get keeper headshots, that is no longer true. You only have to get keeper kills and that goes along with all of these enemy types. You can do this with a pack-a-punched weapon or a non-pack-a-punched weapon. Varies on how deep your skill actually is. But we're going to complete this, kill five keepers, and then we'll move on to the harder challenge of taking on the panzers. Now what I did is a killing time. You can use arnies for this, and I will pick those up here after a little while. I'll show you that footage. But the core is what we're going to focus on first. You do need to shoot off the actual core, and you can screw this up if you don't do it correctly. I used a killing time to show you exactly where you need to be shooting. And the other thing is the helmet we'll have to shoot off as well. And I will show you footage of both of those. But first, we're going to go pick up the Arnies. You will find those in the actual magic box. So be sure to fish those out. It'll make things a lot easier for control purposes. Now we're going to take on the Panzer Helmet, which isn't much different. We're just going to aim up towards his helmet and it will fall off. And that's what we're looking for. The Panzer does come down and cause a lot of problems. So running a figure eight in the stomach itself will help you control the flow of the zombies and allow you to get him where you need. The next thing we're going to talk about is Margwas. You will need to kill two different types of Margwas. It doesn't matter what type they are, they could be any type. And you're going to want to shoot out the first two heads. And when you do that, it will reveal one last final head, and you have to take this out with one blow. And using the Thunder Gun is the best way to do this. So if you take out the last head, it will count as one of your triggers. If you shoot out the head and he doesn't die on one hit even, you will wreck this and you'll have to do another Margwa. So two different Margwas, shoot out the first two heads and the third head, you will use the Thunder Gun in one punch and it will take it out and that will complete this step. So if you do it like this every time, you will successfully complete the Margwa step. And that will complete our series of sequences. As I said, you can do them out of order and there's no particular way of doing all these kills except for the Panzer and the Margwas. Now we're going to go accept our reward because now we've unlocked the Shadow Man mask and this is the most OP mask in the entire game and in the map revelations. So 
I wanted to bring this to you guys ASAP because the rules have changed on how you can do this or maybe that we just got it all wrong to begin with. It's a lot easier than I once thought and as you can see we're on wave 25 which means we have another opportunity to take out the keepers or get more furies and that's my recommendations to you. Of all the masks and helmets that you can get in Revelations, this by far is the most OP one and definitely one I recommend for all high rounders. You'll definitely be able to take a lot more damage, you'll be faster. There's no reason you should rock any other helmet when this one's simply the best. If you're going over 50, if you're going over 75, if you're going over round 100, this is the helmet for you. There's Al's hat, there's the wolf mask, there's the keeper mask, there's the viking mask, there's the marble mask, there's the templar mask, there's the fury mask, and most of all, the shadow mask. You get one extra hit from all enemies. Your sprint duration is increased. The player does 50% more damage against all enemies. What kind of benefit is that when it stacks with double tap? My god. And 33% damage reduction from all enemy types. All enemy types. That makes you the master of disguise. This is one that you don't want to miss. And as we await more and more information on the next Black Ops title coming from Treyarch, I believe it's going to be a Black Ops title. It might not be Black Ops 4, but that's what I'm leaning towards. And you'll see some of those types of videos, at least storyline videos here on my channel when it comes to Black Ops 4 Zombies. It might be called World at War 2 Zombies, so we could be wrong, but the code name of Black Ops 4 Zombies will remain true on my channel until we actually know what it's going to be called. I'm really excited. And I think if you find your way onto Revelations, I wanted to keep you informed with the latest update on the best mass that you can get on the map. When it comes to the news and what's happening currently right now, moving from Black Ops 3 towards Black Ops 4, of course we've had this huge dry period, but we've had DLC 5 to hold us over. One thing that I think is really important to think about deals with the series of updates that we've gotten ever since DLC 5 was released. We're currently on version 1.26 of the game, that's the current update that we're on. We may see more updates as we move throughout the year and possibly more events even happening. We had a winter event that just went down in Black Ops 3. It was a multiplayer event, but if you were here throughout the season past all of Black Ops 3 zombies, then you know that Zombies is the cherished baby of Treyarch. So we're going to be well taken care of moving into 2018 here because this is the 10 year anniversary of Zombies. That is a big deal. And with the addition of masks being in DLC 4, this is sort of a side Easter egg quest that you can actually do in the map. But here's the thing. It's not something you can keep outside of the game. When it ends and everything like that, you don't get to keep an item and that's what's interesting moving in to Black Ops 4 and I know a lot of you guys find it strange that Mob of the Dead was actually built into Revelations. It means it's very important and means it does tie into the overall story that we're seeing and we know that but why is it so significant? Is there something left here and is there still a mystery around Al's hat? Can you answer that? Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of Al's hat. Is there more to this mystery that still needs to be solved? as we move in to Black Ops 4 because this is something I might want to take a look at. Let me know your thoughts below because this area of the map is still very interesting to me. For some of you watching and you're like, who the hell is Al? What's Al's hat? Al is the weasel that's in Mob of the Dead and it's very important because it determines whether the cycle continues or the cycle is broken. And is this going to play a factor in the overall resolution in this scenario? Is this scenario going to change in DLC 4? This ending going to change by the end of the season pass based on what we do in Black Ops 4. The last video I did on Black Ops 4 dealt with the blood files and the latest update coming from comic number 6 to Mob of the Dead and that scenario that took place during the teleport in Zetsubu no Shima. So if that's something you're definitely interested in hearing be sure to check the top link in the description box below it'll take really good care of you. I want you guys to stay informed because as we move forward Mob of the Dead is going to be a big topic of discussion and I find in Revelations here that the cafeteria built with the electric chair in front might be something interesting that maybe we quite haven't dived into enough and I want to do that here on the channel but starting with the masks I wanted to give you guys the best tutorial possible right now and the latest information this is the updated version on the Shadow Man mask and my current thoughts on Black Ops 4 so I hope you like what you saw today and I got a lot more coming on the channel so be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on everywhere we go with Black Ops 3 moving into Black Ops 4. I'll see you guys in the next video. Violent out.